Okay, we have here the integral of dx over the square root of x to the 4 sevenths minus x squared. Okay, and the interesting thing I find here is if we have a fraction exponent, we've got a integer exponent. We really can't factor out this one. If we factor out, I mean, we could try, but I think it's going to make it harder. But if we factor that out, we're going to have an x out here. But then this is still going to be a fraction exponent. And then when we take, if we want to do a u substitution, we don't really have a way to, we take the u substitution, we're going to get another fraction exponent. So I think we need to factor out this term right here. So when we take the square root of x to the 4 sevenths, we're going to have x to the 2 sevenths. So we'll just pull that out here. We'll have a 1. This other term, noticing, if you just notice that x to the 10 sevenths times x to the 4 sevenths, adding exponents is 14 over 7, which is 2. So this is going to be a good factoring right here. Then what we want to do is we just want to get this into the numerator, I'm trying to set this up for a u substitution. So we're going to have x to the minus 2 over 7 dx, 1 minus x to the 10 over 7. Usually I'd like to try to make the whole thing my u, because that's going to be the cleanest way. But just looking at it, that's not going to work too nicely, because when we take the derivative, I think the derivative of this is going to be x to the 3 over 7. We'd like it to line up with an x to the minus 2 sevenths. But what we can do is we can write our u as x to the 5 over 7, just noticing that u squared is x to the 10 over 7. And let's take the derivative of this thing. Our du is going to be 5 over 7 x to the minus 2 over 7. What we, that's what we want, dx. And then I think we're in good, good shape for our u substitution, except let's just add in a 5 sevenths there and a 7 fifths there. Multiplying, set, multiplying these two is going to give us a 1, so we're not changing it. So then we'll just keep our 7 fifths in front and make that substitution. This whole thing is going to be our du, it's same as this. So we're going to have du over the square root of 1 minus, and here's our u squared, 10 sevenths. Okay, and this is a very common integral. In u, we'll just have our 7 fifths, and this is going to be arc sine or inverse sine of u. I'm just going to do it all in one step, or use x over 5, x to the 5 sevenths, plus c, and that's our answer. I think my pen's getting a little dry there. So I think once we decided what to factor out, it worked out pretty nice. So we'll stop it there. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.